One of the first things I think a lot of people are going to notice is even more improvements to the Sonar graphical user interface. That's what Sonar X1 brought in was a number of new uh, looks and uh, improvements to the interface. The Sonar interface, of course, is called the Skylight interface, and that's because the uh, purpose behind it is to give you more room uh, on your screen and uh, give you more light essentially. So one of the things that I think a lot of people are going to notice is going to be the screen set feature. I've got this menu right here and if I click on that I can select a number of different screen sets that I can make use of in my project. Each of these screen sets is going to give me uh, a different way of speeding up my workflow as I work in my production. So I can use all of these numbers up here in the top menu and I can also use the pull down menu and I can also use the numbers on my keyboard in order to switch back and forth between my screen sets. So this is really going to be a very cool way to be able to speed up your workflow as you work in Sonar. Other improvements to the graphical user interface include the browser being uh, much improved, allowing you to search very easily the media that you would like to make uh, use of in your project and uh, giving you a search box to be able to also search your plugins your MIDI effects, your audio effects, and so on. So in this case, I want to find the RMix Sonar plugin. I'm just going to type Mix, and there it is right there, and I can just drag this into my production so that new browser really going to speed things up for you as you work in Sonar. Hey, hey.